Ah, what time is it? Hmm. Why the heck these two games releasing updates this early, huh? Well, let's go ahead and check it. So, two, hmm. Best JJK Battlegrounds, maybe? You tell me, but, uh, whatever. These two JJK Battlegrounds games just dropped an update today. Sorcerer Battlegrounds, and of course, Jujutsu Shenanigans. So I'm going to showcase what's new from this update before I grab my coffee this morning. Bet? I'll start with Sorcerer Battlegrounds. The first character we will check is Mahito. I am not going to show everything as I made a video of this before already. I'll go straight to what's new, eh? So first, they reworked Mahito's first move, which looks more like Mahito this time than Gomu Gomu no Mi Pistol, eh? Well, they did a great job with this one, to be honest. Now they finally added this character's awakening with two new moves. I'm excited to see it. Let's check it out. The first move is Soul Punisher. Oh, wow, with a cutscene? Very nice, huh? They cooked the animation of this one for real. Also, right after using the move, you can see Mahito's final form. I don't know what that does, though, besides its nice looking model. We'll find out in the next update. The next character, well, you know it already, Megumi, of course. So Megumi now has a domain expansion, huh? Let's check it. This is absolutely looking good. The Shadow Garden. Okay then. For now, I don't know what this does to your opponent or to the game in general. But this looks good overall. I believe this domain allows the user to summon an unlimited number of Shikigami, but I am not sure how this will be replicated in the game. Or maybe I am just missing something here, but um, whatever. And I noticed the duration lasts longer compared to the other domains, huh? Okay, it is what it is. Let's jump into the next game. Ah, Jujutsu Shenanigans. Well, again, it's all about Magumia, but stay with me a bit longer because I will check the new character after this. So I will not go through all moves as I already made a video of it already. Let's just dive straight to what's new, okay? The first one is the elephant, which now has a finisher. Ah, looks brutal, eh. Okay, looks clean. Now the new move, the great serpent. That looks nice, huh? And I noticed something. It has a freaking poison DPS damage. Wow, these guys really always thinking outside the box, huh? Anyway, let's check it again. So what I understand is you are riding on the actual serpent, then you can control the direction to where you want to land it. Well, I guess, hmm. Okay then, overall it looks astonishing. Also, I found a YouTube channel and I believe this guy is TZE's modeler. So he leaked Mahoraga and Ajito, who I thought wouldn't be added to Megumi's full moveset. Still, I am not sure how legit this guy is, but whatever the purpose of this showcase in his channel, it looks amazing. So let's just hope for the best. Okay, moving on the the next character. And FYI, this is a new character just released in early access just a couple of hours ago. Guess who? Hmm, you got it. Mahito again. So for now, this guy only has three skills and we will start with the first one. Now this move has a Black Flash variant, the same as how you use Black Flash in Yuji Skill 3. Looks amazing, I'm not gonna lie. Okay sons, patience for those who wait, because I will pick one person to win an early access game pass. FYI for now, just Jujutsu shenanigans because of the easy gifting method. But once I have my Discord, I'll include other games as well. But uh, 
Just like this video and subscribe. Comment your Roblox user and I'll randomly pick a winner. I will announce it in my next video. Good luck, sons.